Well, welcome to the next uh, part of my uh, uh, covering the wing of my Pesa. So as I mentioned on the, at the end of the last uh, part, um, now I'm marking off uh, where the tape's going to be. Um, um, I've seen some people just running tapes without marking it off, uh, but I, maybe I'm not good enough. Uh, I need to first see the whole layout of the tape so I can figure out the sequence, how they're going to be taped down. Uh, so I, I've already done half of the top wing. I just wanted to show you in the last uh, part I mentioned that I'm using a blind uh, for the top of the wing. So I'm just gonna mark off here, it's like two inch tapes running uh, across the wing. So I measure here the top of the rib where the one inch mark is and then uh, just uh, give it a good mark here. Uh, Two inch left and right, uh, one inch left and right, and uh, do the same just here on one stitch, and I can really see where the center of the rib is. So mark that off. Here. One inch left. right gives you my two inches um, and then you can just take your I'll just take my blind and uh, it curves at the end but if you pull if I pull it back enough it kind of contours to the wing actually pretty well um, so just line up my mark and then uh, I pull it tight and kind of lean against it, keep it tight, and well, it's moved for me a little bit. Okay, so keep it tight against the the fabric, and you know, just as far as I can reach, I run my pencil mark. And again, these are just pencil marks for where the fabric is going to lay. So then, really wrap it around the front of the nose, the nose of the wing. And the mark. And move it to the other side. Again, give it a good line up here. Keep it straight. Pin it down. Pencil mark. All the way down. And uh, I mark off how far I run the uh, tape under the tape that goes covers the whole leading edge. And it's the leading edge receives a four inch tape all the way across. So I just run it about an inch under uh, top and bottom. Uh, you can actually just wrap the whole, uh, like use one con long tape all the way around. Um, but I think it's fine if you uh, terminate the tape one inch under the leading edge tape and then uh, use a separate piece on the bottom. And you don't have to deal with these really long pieces of tape. Um, so, some maybe prefer this way, maybe some do, do the other way, um, whatever works. Um, so, getting it straight here, and So this, it's like everything else, I always think, oh yeah, I can do this quickly and start taping, but uh, start actually gluing it, but everything just takes time. So I think today, um, 
I can just finish uh, marking everything off and then maybe get one or two tapes starting with one, but uh, there will be still a lot of cooling going on tomorrow. Okay, so yesterday I finished uh, the bottom side of the uh, uh, ring. So today I'm going to do the top side and uh, I'm going to show quickly just on one tape here, a short tape, how the wet on wet process is uh, uh, supposed to go. And then I, uh, maybe I use the shot here. Um, and then I'm uh, uh, just gonna start taking away and get hopefully this uh, uh, top of the wing done today. We just cut a piece of length uh, and I cut it just a tad longer to make sure um, I have enough after I cut it off. So let's do this do these two strips here. Um, so cut it off. Then you uh, lay down a Good coat of glue. Just take the tape and lay it nice and straight. Put the mark off here so it's the right length. Put the mark off at the end. Cut up the excess. And just go ahead and uh, and glue through the top. Um, we make sure that the edges, the pink edges are nice and saturated with glue, that they will not, after this all dries, they will not be uh, nice laying down. Um, um, actually, there's quite a few that are sticking up quite a bit, but don't worry about it because you have to, after this is all done, the next process is actually to take a, or oh, by the way, after you um, put the glue on, you just gently wipe all the excess glue off. And again, just make sure everything is nice and saturated. I don't worry about the uh, pink edges staying up a little bit. Um, because after the whole thing is done, um, I take my small iron at uh, 250 degrees and you go over all the, the tapes if you see any bubbles uh, and especially you go over um, the edges, the pink edges and iron them all down and that might be a process you may have to do a couple times um, but after the this is all done then there is a uh, uh, process where you just thin down the glue uh, three to one with uh, distilled water and you have to uh, seal the fabric with a thin down glue and maybe after that I go over it with the uh, with the iron one more time uh, because then the next step would be to put uh, uh, three cross coats of UV film on and even then, um, after the first or even the second cross coat of UV filler, you may still see some ed edges uh, that are popped up and you still have to go over it again. But after that, it should be pretty much all done and the edges are 
all glued down. Uh, so, and then you can finally paint. So, man, I look forward to it. Uh, I haven't flown my airplane you know, for six weeks, going seven weeks. So, I'm really, really looking forward. As much as I enjoy this work, I also look forward to actually fly my airplane again. So, you know, so this is how we do the process. Uh, pretty straightforward. Lay a bed of glue. Lay the um, fabric in. Push glue through the top and wipe it off. And by the way, if you get glue on your fingers, um, it comes off really easy. It just rubs off. Um, and usually your finger gets cleaner because uh, the glue that you rub off takes all the dirt with it. So, um, so you really don't have to worry about working uh, with bare hands uh, on this uh, system. So anyhow, so um, I'm going to start finishing our whole wing and get this all done. And by the way, this glue here, uh, if you take a pause, I can uh, damp a piece of power here and I just, you just lay it over it and it actually keeps uh, uh, the glue from skimming over. So I just finished my lunch and before lunch, so this morning I uh, got the basically the leading edge done on the top wing. Of course there's still the leading edge tape that uh, has to go on here. Um, so but it's so far um, the leading edge is done and I glued all the span wise. Uh, tapes that go all the way across the wing. I glued them here on the on the top, um, so I can continue now doing the, the trailing edge. Um, and but I just wanted to show, for instance, uh, there is a sequence that at least I do. Um, like there are tapes that go across the wing, and then of course there are tapes that go along the wing. And on the ones that go along the wing. I like to have them go over top of the ones that go across the wing. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a requirement or not, but it's my preference at least. Because then like all where here the false ribs are, I can terminate them uh, halfway under the, uh, the tape that goes along the wing. But then of course it terminates somewhere and I uh, terminate the tape that comes along the wing under one that goes across. So that's why sometimes I can't quite glue something before I do some other tape. The same was true on this tape here. That runs from, because there's no metal underneath here. Metal is here and here. So there's, a, but here's, a, here's of course the metal edge. So I put reinforcement tapes. So that reinforcement tape goes over, over all these tapes that go across the wing, but it terminates under the tape here and it terminates under the tape here. So there's a certain sequence. Um, and of course, I still have to finish here the, this, the tape here on the uh, landing light, but uh, I'm really happy how the landing light area turned out. Um, and so that I don't get carried away um, when I do the gluing, uh, I, I, I put pencil marks. For instance, I can put all these uh, ones that come, the long tapes that come over the ribs across the wing, I can put them all on, except this one here that finishes uh, um, by the aileron. So that's why I put a little mark there, stop. I don't glue there, uh, because at first, after now all these uh, tapes are on, the ones that come across the ring over the ribs, at first then I have to put the trailing edge, that go, tape that goes on the, um, on the false spar here, I have to put that all on, uh, all on 
terminate here and then I can finish this tape and run this to the trailing edge. So anyhow, I just wanted to explain the sequence quick. So let's get going again and finish taping this wing. So today I'm working on uh, the inspection covers. So when I got here this morning, I laid out all the, or re pencil out the inspection rings. Um, and then I glued the inspection rings in. At first I just put a, a ring of glue in. Uh, I sand, sanded the both sides of the inspection rings and glued them in place. And I just went around and put a little glue all around and inside. Um, so for the uh, doily to actually tack onto, uh, I pre-shrunk some fabric to 250 degrees and then I cut out uh, all the um, fabric I need to put over the uh, inspection rings. So, um, so at this stage the ring is on and I have put a little glue on and it's pretty dry, tacky. So now we just lay the... Uh, fabric over it um, as much as center as possible and you can just with the finger just kind of lay it in there and I go in with my fingernail and really get it into the corner of the ring just like this uh, and you can see already how it's laying nicely against the uh, inspection ring then I just lay it flat over the the top and then I go around with my fingernail um, and just give it a little crease uh, where the outside is. Um, doesn't have to be too accurate at this point. Uh, just give it like a pre-crease a little bit um, because then I get my little iron which is 250 degree pre-shrunk and I just quickly or 250 degrees I just very quickly go a little bit over the inside and then just with the tip of the iron you just really run along around the inside edge first and then I just smooth it out a little bit now I don't want to really shrink the fabric more I mean it's pretty shrunk to 250 but I just want to just wanted to lay flat and then I just go around the outside again pressing just the tip of the iron into the edge here and you can see already how the inspection nicely lays down so Okay, so it's pretty good here. So now, I'm going to give it a fire first. And then, uh, let's take a little bit of glue. And then, uh, let's go around the edge underneath. Make sure there's enough glue under the doily, around the perimeter. Then you just work your brush, put some more glue on it, and just lay it down. And don't worry about uh, if the edges are not down, really. Make sure that you get the glue really into the uh, edge of the inspection ring. So that, again, don't worry if it's the edges, uh, the pink edges are not down too much because afterwards you have to take an iron anyway and the whole wing basically including all the inspection covers need to be laid down but 
So just a good coat of glue, make sure everything is covered. Okay, goes like this. Work it into the fabric a little bit more. Okay. And then let's take a shop towel. the excess. You don't put too much pressure on it because you don't want to loosen anything. Even if you do, just leave it alone and then afterwards you can take an iron and flatten everything out. But that's basically it how you put inspection covers on. So I just wanted to show this quick and now I'm gonna go on and uh, do nine more I guess and then I'm done with inspection covers. Well, this was a whole day of um, basically uh, putting all the inspection rings on. Um, it takes a long time uh, cutting out all the doilies and uh, gluing everything down and then uh, uh, also go with an iron over every single pink edge on the wing, uh, top and bottom. Um, took a long time and then uh, now it's, uh, it's almost time to go home. So. Um, I just used use some cleaner um, from Stuart system, the Eco Clean, and cleaned the whole wing off. Uh, and then uh, wash it off with a damp uh, cloth so it can dry out now. So, uh, so when I come back, um, I can fill the weave and put the wing tip on here. Um, I paint this. Uh, with uh, the UV fill uh, or the U, uh, UV block, but thing looks good. I'm making progress every day. Um, sometimes slower than I really like to, but everything looks fine. So tomorrow is another day, and I get this done one day. Till then, stay tuned. Well, now I'm getting ready the, to prep the ring for paint. Um, I'm finally there, so I'm so excited about it. Uh, so what it takes is uh, I'm going to mix up some uh, glue, three parts glue, one part distilled water, and then every bay here, every square that has, not, uh, has no glue on it, um, needs to be sealed with glue, um, so it gives a nice undercoat for the UV protection. And also, um, the head, um, I read in the Stuart uh, Systems uh, latest manual, uh, they had a couple of very rare conditions where uh, apparently the UV protection was delaminating, uh, and there was no, then the wheel was not filled first, and there was moisture. But it, it sounds like it's very, very rare. Um, so they um, now recommend, uh, and I say now because last time I used this product, um, I did not fill uh, the weaves first. Uh, there was uh, on repair that I did on the wing. But anyhow, so now they're saying one coat of uh, dip down blue. And so I just want to show one, one side of the wing tape, and then I can work on the wing tape. And later this afternoon, a friend will come by to help me take the wing of the rotisserie so I can put the aileron on one so I can cut the final hole for the cable where the cables come through and put the little um, fairings on uh, that I actually made myself uh, out of uh, thin aluminum uh, to put on the, where the cables come out. And then I'm basically uh, ready to bring the wing home and start painting. And I'm done with the uh, sealing of the uh, weave of the fabric. So it looks a little bit spotty here, but that's of course at some areas it's touching the, uh, uh, the tank, my auxiliary tank, and in some areas maybe it's not. So uh, same like here where I made the inspection panel, uh, some areas it's maybe 
attaching and um, gluing to the metal underneath, but then here it's a little bit uh, air underneath. So, um, but looks good. So I'm getting now ready to work on the wing tip. So first I need to put three cross coats of uh, the UV block on uh, just on the rib here basically uh, as far as the um, the wingtip will actually cover when it's uh, screwed on um, and then I can put the wingtip on and get that's about the last thing other than fitting the aileron ones uh, to uh, make sure that the holes are coming out or the cables coming out in the spot where I put the holes uh, and then I'm ready to move the wing home. Yesterday we moved the wing from the airport uh, to my home and I've set up this uh, 10 by 20 tent um, which is functioning now as my uh, paint booth and uh, so everything is done on the wing. Um, I did install this uh, fairings for the cables, for the uh, aileron cable. Uh, I made the fairings myself uh, out of uh, thin aluminum. Um, wing tip is on and everything is basically ready to be painted. Here's the other side, also this uh, fairing that I made. Um, so this morning um, I will go over the wing one more time, uh, make sure that all the, the pinked edges are down. Uh, I have to do a little bit more sanding on the wing tip. Um, I should have done this yesterday, but I kind of ran out of time. So, but anyhow, so this will conclude, I think it's part six of the uh, recovering process and uh, then when I start the paint uh, this will new, be the new part uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna videotape every uh, time I paint because I don't want to have overspray on my camera so until then stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to my channel